Hey guys, we got a special treat for you today. We're downtown Toronto, hanging out at Amigo Electric Bikes. This is Virginia's shop over there. How's it going? Hey guys. We're gonna do a tour. It's really fun to get on on e-bikes with the whole family. This is Sue, this is Virginia's mom. And uh, what are you, you're on the Reese Mueller homage, yeah? This is a good one. Oh, this is the Nevo? Which one did we check out? The homage is the full suspension, right? Okay, well, I'm on the full suspension right here. Yeah, I got the jam squared. This is definitely my jam. I like the cushion. Uh, and then, let's see here. Meredith, what are you on? You're on an LB? I'm on an LB. Okay, and you run the shop here, right? I do. Yeah. Sweet, I like the helmets. I'm seeing a lot of Lumos going on here. And then that's Mike. He's like a lead tech. You're on what? Is this one of those older Stromer ST1s, but with the upgraded ASI controller? Yeah, yeah, those are sweet, but he's on the speed pedal X, so we're gonna have to keep an eye on him. This is gonna be fun. Virginia's got a whole like list of things to see. Let's do it, let's shove off. And Virginia's on the Amigo right there. That's the infinite rose gold. Gotta love that. We were there just the other day in Chubby's and it's like this really cool Jamaican yeah. <laughs> food restaurant. Nice. A lot of cool stuff in this city. Virginia and I have been kind of exploring, checking out some of the restaurants. It's very walkable, very clean. A lot of people out on bikes and they've got these cool electric buses and stuff. We'll probably see one of those later. Sweet, what's this, yeah, where are we so at right now? This is King West and it's very exciting because they've kind of turned the street into more of a pedestrian streetcar oh, yeah. street. So cars are only allowed to ride one block Hi. Look at this. How is it going? We're going on an electric bike tour <laughs> of the city. Yeah, we're checking it out. This is this is like the same bike you're on, right? That's an infinite? It is. I heard you give away one of those like bags. I, I, I guess I know you. Yeah, I do the website. High five, dude. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs> Awesome. Well, this is it. We just pulled over to kind of get everything situated. We're going to hop back on. Is everyone ready? Awesome. Here we go. <laughs> That's awesome. Sweet. I like that tower with like the kind of the bridge across the middle. It's really cool. A lot of parks and stuff around here. like a war memorial. Canada helping out World War II. CN Tower in the distance. It's amazing, like this, this city has some pretty wide open streets and it, it feels really comfortable to me. So, um, Court, this bridge right here was built probably five years ago. They highly developed this area of Toronto. It's called City Place. All sorts of condos and the only way to get over was on busier streets Bathurst and Spadina so they built this pedestrian bridge part of Toronto becoming more of a pedestrian city sweet wow that's awesome and bike city <laughs> how long have you been here like doing this Virginia uh eight years eight years yes. I mean that's a pretty significant amount of time like did this bridge come in during those eight, e eight years or yes Wow, wow. We we, did, we were out there earlier, right? Like filming a couple, maybe one of the reviews? Yeah, we did the infinite high bar review right up on that bridge. It was really cool because there's like all these trains down there. Yep. I'm excited to check that out. Like kind of show some of the, the overpass. Actually, a lot of them are right there. Do you know if those are passenger trains or? Uh, so yeah, those are um, go trains. They bring in commuters to the downtown core and then okay. they're parked here. Wow. Beautiful. A lot of construction going on here. Hey guys. Wow. And this was lit up at night, if I remember, right? Uh, yeah, I think there is some lighting. There's these light bars that shine up and it looks really pretty. We were walking around last night checking things out. And there's a wind turbine way off in the distance. It's kind of cool. There go, downshift in a little bit. Appreciating those hydraulic brakes at a time like this. <laughs> hmm. And this 
city's really bike friendly. Like everyone's just been smiling, bikes kind of mixing with pedestrians and people go, people go pretty s slowly and carefully in my experience. Howdy. Wow. Pretty. Yeah, so next we're gonna go see Canoe Park. Kind of see the canoe there. Later, Meredith. That was fun. I think she got a call back at the shop or something, so she's yeah, gonna bail. Yeah, she did. <laughs> so Canoe what? Where are we uh, headed? Canoe Park. So there's a nice big canoe. You can see the garden. Oh, like right there. Yeah. And stairs. <laughs> this is like our local mountain biking scene. Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> we do have a mountain bike area. <laughs> Core of the stairs you can handle. I don't know if I recommend. <laughs> I've been having fun, you know, trying to find stuff with uh, with some of the reviews out here. Are these all condos, like a lot of the big tall buildings around here? Oh yeah, these are all residential condos. Cool. Oh, we got another bike messenger. This one's pedaling hard. Got it? Uh-oh. Pick up your poo, guys. Remember that, it's important if you got a dog. Howdy. <laughs> Doggy park. Wow, this is a great view. Yeah. And this is um, our um, Gardner Expressway. It's kind of one of the big arteries of the city. Huh. The city is talking about tearing it down. So we'll this see. whole expressway? Yes. What would, how would, what would happen then? Hopefully streets underground. <laughs> Flying cars, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> yeah, underground streets would be really. Really rad too. I mean, this is Lake Ontario that we're kind of seeing off in the distance, right? Yes. So, it, uh, wow, it'd be like under the water table maybe, <laughs> just to keep track. <laughs> How about you, Mike? I want to be seen. <laughs> yeah. I want to be seen. And you look so good. Very Thank cute you. outfit with the white. That's what I'm always talking about, like white helmets, white gear, very visible. Yeah. Lead on. Let's go to the next stop. Huh? Hey, buddy. So you ride to work sometimes, right? Every day. Every day? How far is it? Um, it's about 11 kilometers. Oh, wow. Uh, is that a lot? Is yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I used to do about 30 each way before, so I was doing about 60 a day. Well, like 32 kilometers is 20 miles, so 11 kilometers, I don't know, it's like 8 or 7 or 8 miles. Yeah. For those of us who are like American, the background. Yeah. Oh, there's Virginia. It's actually coincidental, like I'm test riding it. Oh really? You're thinking yeah. about getting this one? I love this bike. What do you love about it? Uh, very smooth. Uh, I also like how it feels more natural. The Stromers use the gearless hub motor so you get a little bit of regen and it's just super silent. There's a little bit of cogging. I've talked about that in the reviews and stuff, but uh, they are fun bikes on track. Where are we going now? Oh, so now we're going to the Music Garden and okay. then we're going to head over to some really nice parks, have a great view of the CN Tower and... Good. Steam whistle. We've got a whole whole day planned. Steam whistle. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Doing pretty good, guys. Always nice to be exploring a new place, having fun with friends. And here we are at Lake Ontario, I think, because we're in we're in Ontario. Oh boy, here we go. We're squeezing it. Make it. Oh, nice. This is beautiful. Wow. So where yeah, are we at so now? Here we are. Um, what a, this, yeah, our harbor front center, beautiful marina. Bike share. Bike share, yes. John is big on that. Um, this is one of my favorite areas in the city. I love to go for runs here in the morning, being nice. on the water. And here, this here's the musical garden. And all, like the whole landscape is all inspired by music. And they have like um, yeah, different symphonies, orchestras that'll play right up here. So wow. yeah, beautiful to check out. Now that's another like mountain biking spot. Getting a, <laughs> maybe not. I'm not advocating riding on 
uh, these beautiful the grounds with mountain bike, but I think I've just get excited because I'm on this bike. Here's the that suspension. pirate chef you saw earlier. Yes, that's right. <laughs> what was the bike we were looking at when we were at this? Uh, we were doing the, oh, actually this bike. That one, that was yeah, the infinite. the infinite step through. Infinite step through. I'm gonna cruise up and check this out. Yeah. And a tug. Look at this, guys. Wow. It's just so, so awesome. See this stuff. Sweet. Whoa, it looks like we got some weight. We must, I don't know if we're at high tide. Wow. That's awesome. Beautiful. Must be like a little private airstrip. We got boat coming in. Hmm. Just beautiful. Okay, heading back. I think it says, uh, I saw a sign the other day that said like private, yeah, weddings, private charters, all that stuff. There's that electric train again. This is a really nice area. The lake is really high. Yeah. Water levels like. What is this? This wooden the thing. The wave deck. The wave deck. <laughs> Fun to bike on. Virginia, the the lake is like really high. It was like right up to the concrete. Is it a tide? Like, does it have high tide or something? No, it's not tide. It's we've just lost all of our snow. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna go that way. All of our snows melted and our water levels are really high um, all across Ontario right now. We actually have some really bad flooding. Oh, okay. Hope everyone's all right. Stay, stay safe. Hmm. It's interesting. And today's a Friday, right? Today is Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> okay. This is beautiful. It's just not, it's not super crowded. You know, it's actually pretty warm out right now, too. Well, it, w it was raining two hours ago. So. Now it dried up pretty quickly. Ferry oh, boat. Toronto Island. Huh. She's saying that's Toronto Island out there. Look at that stadium. Rogers Center. That's where the Blue Jays play. Okay. Is that, that's a baseball team? Yes. Okay. Baseball team. <laughs> I've been so busy with bikes that I forgot about baseball. Toronto, yeah. Toronto's a huge sports city. Cool, cool. Hey guys. I love these like bike path divided paths around town. It's really bikeable. Yeah, Toronto is, has become a very bikeable city. I remember you saying something about like petitioning the city council or something when you opened your business. What did you actually do? Like how? Also, electric bicycles weren't allowed in bike lanes, bike paths like this. So, yeah, probably five years ago, got the city to agree to allow pedal assist bikes in um, bike paths. Good on ya. That's awesome. Did you just like bring it to the city council or what? What did you actually do? Oh, it was a lot of work. We had to meet with counselors individually. We worked really closely with the city. We gave them electric bikes to test and really get them to, you to get, yeah, you have to get the city hall. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the blue box. Here on red. I know, I was like, bye Virginia. <laughs> Riding and filming, it can be a little bit. We did a good job, guys. Good job, right? Yeah. These are cool. I've seen them around the city too. So when people are gonna turn left or whatever, bikes will stop, and that way they get ahead of the cars a little bit. And you get a boost. Yeah. Sort of a safer start. Yeah, it's nice to be able to kind of accelerate with the flow of traffic. It makes it feel a little bit safer when you're on the road. There we go. Hey, Virginia. We got we. Okay. On the right? Yep. Full suspension! 
Okay, canoe and kayak club over there. It's so much fun to take a kayak and kayak to the island. That's one of my favorite things to do too. Really? Summer. You can just go out there and cross it if you want? Yeah, and cool. like when you go over, there's all these islands. So you can actually kayak in between. It's absolutely stunning. Is there some good nature out there? Like, I don't know, mm -hmm. fish or something? Fish? Eagles? Sea otters? <laughs> a lake otters? Here, no. <laughs> no? We more have Canadian geese, ducks, swans. Okay, ducks and swans. We did see a swan the other day out here and that was pretty cool. Get another view. There's that little airport. We going right or left, I mean? Sweet. This here is a great local spot too, Amsterdam Brewery. Amsterdam Brewery, shout out. Great food, great beer, beautiful view. Awesome. Oh, and look at there's like, a, is that a ferry over there? Whoa, look at this amphitheater. What's this? Uh oh, is your scarf flying off? <laughs> Thank you. It's pretty. It's amazing how many views. This kind of reminds me of Chicago a little bit. Um, just like that waterfront area where you can see the city. Uh, I haven't been there for a while, but. It's a neat environment. Again, this is freshwater. This is this is Lake Ontario. Just a bunch of boats and stuff. Lead on. Okay. Good job, Sue. <laughs> Virginia's excited, kind of zooming off in the front, but we're all we're all keeping up, and that's one of the beauties of of e-bikes. You know, everyone's. I don't feel exhausted or anything like that. I'm kind of up on the highest level of assist so I can zoom across. Look at this. Hey, can I go on that? Virginia, can I go on this? Oh wait, no, it's like railed off. Oh, only the little one. I wanted to go on like the big, big one. Man, with some speed, that would be awesome. <laughs> you can handle it on your bike. Absolutely. Wow. I guess this is just more art. Sounds like they're coordinating our, our route. Simcoe Wave Deck. Oh, Marketplace? I guess this turns into like, uh, maybe a little street fair kind of thing or like a garden. Uh, or not a garden. What are the things called? Like farmer's market. That's it. Farmer's market. Sweet. Awesome. We going left? So now we're going to go up here. We're going to yeah, head to Steam Whistle now. Yeah. Steam Whistle. I'm excited about that. You can see the CN Tower from like everywhere. restaurants and stuff. So Virginia was talking about the Toronto Raptors playing back there on their arena. Apparently they have like a big, you can actually watch it outside the arena on a big screen TV, which is kind of cool. Unless it's like freezing cold, I guess. Whoa. Sweet, sweet. So you were saying something about the screens, like so people can watch for free outside the arena. And exactly. Is it just turn into a big party out there? Um, Unless well, it's freezing cold? I don't think it's too, well, yeah, it's they're, they're there cheering. Okay. <laughs> And there's also a huge sports bar there where they play the sound from inside the arena. So when you're at the sports bar, it's got a huge screen. It's actually North America's largest sports bar. And wow. it feels like you're at the game too without having to pay the high pricing. So we're, now we're heading to Steam Whistle, right? Yeah, but actually here, 
here too, right up in front, we have Ripley's Aquarium. That's where I was telling you I wanted oh, to bring you. Oh, yeah, I like aquariums. Unfortunately, aquarium. we're not gonna have enough time, and I haven't been, and I was telling Cord at dinner, I'm like, I've been waiting to <laughs> bring a guest there. And yeah. I feel like Court would love it. So that would be have fun. have to come visit us again. I have to come back. I do like this city. I wasn't sure at first. I was like, oh, Toronto, but you know, wandering around with you and getting kind of like the insider scoop, uh, making some friends, just seeing how like accessible this city is. Look at that, there's a big, is that like a jaybird on the, uh, or a flicker? I don't know birds. <laughs> Chime in if you know what kind of bird that is. It's black, it's white, it's got a red head. A woodpecker? It does look like it's kind of wood. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> is that a subway? There's like an underground thing. Um, you know what's going on there? Is it just so convention this is center? The Metro Toronto Convention Center. It's where they have our huge auto show. We actually exhibited there this year too. Oh yeah, I remember you was talking right, about that. Right deep down. Sweet. Wow. Roger Center. This is just a really cool spot. You know, I came to Toronto once by car and I, I missed all of this stuff. I just, I was driving downtown, feeling a little bit stressed because parking is somewhat limited in the city. Um, wow. This is so cool. It's just like a roundabout where they would switch trains and exactly. put put them in their little cubbies. And they've turned this into a railway museum. This is brand new. I actually haven't checked it out yet, but it's really cool. Wow. Mike was pointing, I think this was the one you were pointing out back at the, uh, we were talking about places to go and someone on the team was like, yeah, is this roundhouse? Is that the yeah, same this thing? Is this is the roundhouse. Okay, it makes sense because it's round. I want to get a little closer and look over the edge. Oh, there it is. Wow, there's like a crane. A lot of aesthetic. Fairmont Hotel, is that famous? Oh yeah, that is. The Royal York. <laughs> nice, so I've got uh, an eye for- Oh, there's actually, they actually say it's haunted too. Really? Yes. Oh no, that's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going next, Virginia? Um, so now we're gonna go over to the west side of the city. Okay, sounds yes, good. Because it's a bit, yeah, that's a busier street. On the path? We'll go okay, back that way. let's do it. Yeah. Home of the Toronto Blue Jays, Rogers Center right here nice. that we pointed out earlier. It's kind of cool to see it up close from the other side. And this was the first stadium to actually open. Oh, really? To yeah. do that like sliding top thing? Yeah, so it, it fully opens, so on a nice sunny day, it's yeah, beautiful, yeah, beautiful time to go see a game. Awesome. And bike lane protected, gotta love that a layer of safety and just a sense of comfort when you're riding. Hmm. Going about the same speed as traffic here. Probably about 32 kilometers per hour. That's nice when you can keep up with traffic efficiently like this and sort of command the lane and you've, you've got that protected lane and everything. Super quiet. Good job. <laughs> Here we go. Pass 
awesome back by some of the stuff we saw earlier. It's the wave deck. There's the brewery with a nice little pedestrian bridge. I didn't notice that before. guys. Wow. Uh -huh. Hey Sue. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm great. Feeling good? You know, this is a challenge for an old lady. <laughs> well, we're zipping right along, but you got the motor. Is it working okay? It's fantastic. I just like to be safe and I'm enjoying it. I noticed the ride. that you're leaving a little extra space and I bet. you know, my mom recently took a spill on her regular bike, you oh, know? No. Yeah, she was excited and that's all part of the game, I think. You know, you gotta <laughs> She had her helmet on. <laughs> but make sure you're taking your time and being yeah. safe. You're doing a good job. Thank you. Buses. What are they called? Street cars. Street cars. <laughs> <laughs> and they're electric. Yeah. Do you have that like little scan pass or how do you get on? Uh, uh, there's cards. Oh, a little card? Yeah. Cool. You got an annual bike share. Have an electric bike. Take the street car. You can really be car free in Toronto. I love that. Here's the other side of that music garden. Love it, there's like bike paths on both sides. It's so awesome. And walking path, it's like separated out. I don't quite understand the green and blue, but uh, maybe it means like, and maybe it's more just more visible or something. Howdy. Hockey sticks. I think those were hockey sticks in his backpack. Did you see that? Were those hockey sticks? Oh, I didn't see it. The guy, he had we like a backpack with hockey sticks. <laughs> awesome. I'm playing Canadian bingo with myself and I am winning. <laughs> so we're gonna head down this way. Okay, lead on. Sounds good. Huh, this is ominous. you taking me Virginia this looks a little bit danger no trespassing <laughs> yeah this used to be I think a big malt storage when they used to I guess ship a lot of the grains huh um, wow right over here um, it's called the Irish Park and it actually looks very sad because you see these people here that are starving and during, was it the potato famine in Ireland, Canada let in, I think more Irish people than we actually had in, wow. in this Ontario city? Ontario or in, in Toronto. Huh. And um, yeah, Ireland donated these sculptures and this park. That was probably the boat they took over. Huh. But if we come over here, we can see a little bit. Let's more. check it out. Oh, yeah. Ireland Park is the principal memorial to the Irish famine migrants, arrival in Toronto from 1846 to 1849. Some 38,560 men, women, and children came into Toronto, then just a city of 20,000. Wow, so almost double the number of people that were in the city they let come in from Ireland because they were starving. 
That is amazing. That's really, is this like a really Irish city now? Um, it is Irish. Um, we love St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, I bet. I'm told that St. Patrick's Day in Toronto is one of the best in the world. Huh. And actually, Steam Whistle, where we were, um, they have a big St. Patrick's Day parade every year and a huge St. Patrick's Day party. How fun. I personally love St. Patrick's Day. Well, I saw a really <laughs> cute girl with red hair the other day. Oh, yeah, she is that was an Irish, Irish thing? Wow. <laughs> I'm I'm a fan of this. This Court is so has nice. I've mentioned her a couple times, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Not, there's just I appreciate the healthy, beautiful people walking around this city, and I remember just being like awestruck because I I don't see as many people like that in Vancouver, California, and um, yeah, I was really impressed. And this makes sense now. This is really neat of Toronto to do that, and Canada in general. I think they've been doing this with like Syrian refugees in recent years and stuff, and that's like what a what a great way to. I mean, you look at this city, it's clean and people are happy walking around. There, there's construction going on. It's it's really a testament to like... We, we want more people here in Canada. In court, we're so happy that you're <laughs> becoming Canadian. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long, a long road, but I love it here. I'm really thankful to be here too. So thank you, Canada. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Okay, where are we going next? Are we going that way? Now we're going to my favorite lookout. We're going to the favorite spot. Come, guys. Okay, guys, I think we're... Oh. Yeah. Well, no. No, um. I guess, you know, better together, right? Like, bringing people in from other parts of the world who might need help. Um, Canada, there's a lot of assimilation that happens here. You know, they're, I think they're, they're pretty strict in how they bring people in, but it's really neat to see how well it's it's turning out and the diversity around here is just it's really positive people are from all different backgrounds really getting along well from what i've seen and that's neat our toronto city airport okay so you have like a tiny little airport downtown nice and then our international one at pearson awesome sorry, oh guys. sorry guys <laughs> you're fine appreciate it hey thank you yeah. look at that getting compliments <laughs> up this this way okay hey buddy yeah see that guy in the turban right there like maybe chic or something like that people from all different backgrounds coming together getting along just fine because uh, we're all people and um, i think that's wonderful i think that's really beautiful hmm. that's pretty Is this where you jump your bike into the water? No, no. I've never driven my bike in the water. You don't want to do that with an electric bike. Oh, or any bike. that was my problem. I get it now. But look this at this is, though. We're getting a little, this is getting a little choppy. Yeah. So this is what I love is you feel like you're on a boat. Mm. And I discovered this going for a run one day and I came out and I was like, this is beautiful. Especially when you see like the sunrise or the sunset and the runway for the airports right here. So you actually see a lot of planes take off, land, lots of boats come through. Oh, it's beautiful. This is your secret spot. Yeah, it's, it's, it's peaceful. I like it. Wow, and you get a nice view of the city from here too. You do. And another beautiful park here, kind of heading across the city. Wow, look at that arch. Canadian National Exhibition. We have a huge national fair. They do a lot of trade shows, a lot of conventions. Huh. It's a gorgeous area right in here. Lots of buildings. Huh. Yeah, it looks beautiful. A lot of Canadian flags right there. That's where they keep all the maple syrup, guys. 
And actually, it looks like, that almost looks like Nike, like, winged victory statue on top. Have you been to the Louvre? I have. You have, right? Do you remember, like, the winged victory statue? Oh, yeah. Kind of reminds me of that. It was really beautiful. It's one of my favorites. So that's where we were, right? Like, right over there at the end of that kind of sidewalk. Exactly. Yeah, on that lookout. Very nice. And here is another great Canadian um, Anuk Shuk. Anuk Shuk? Anuk Shuk, yeah. Sweet. So it's like a native, like, first peoples kind of thing? Yeah. That's neat. Yeah, they, uh, teach us all about them in school. Huh, beautiful. It's neat to have like a, I guess just a, a monument to like different types of people. We saw the the Irish the statue natives. stuff and then we got the native first people. I think Canada took in a lot of like Native Americans too during um, some of that stuff that went on in the United States with like, yeah, not good stuff. <laughs> E bikes are good when it's windy. Right up here. <laughs> Going this way? Sweet, sweet. Budweiser stage. Oh, Budweiser stage. They have outdoor concerts um, during the summer. And have you been to any of those? They're like one of my favorite things to do in the city. <laughs> <laughs> favorite place to watch a concert in the city. We have lots of concerts in Toronto too. Huh. We going this way? Uh, yeah. We still got Sue in tow. This is nice. <laughs> hey guys. Cool. Groundskeepers. This is awesome. Wow. Float plane. Yeah, that's what you were talking about. Yeah, this is a brand new park, Trillium Park, made by the province of Ontario. And yeah, Toronto is just really developing more parks, more communal areas. Oh, look right here too, a fire pit. Oh, <laughs> you guys bring any marshmallows? <laughs> no. No, uh, next time. Mike, I want to take our team. <laughs> Like a fire there one night after work. <laughs> That'd be fun. Throw some marshmallows, hot dogs. This is cool too, like little sitting areas to watch the sunset or yeah, and whoa. View of the city. Nice view. This would be a good good spot for like some photos and stuff. And nature, see there is nature. We I see a bird. <laughs> it's awesome. Hmm. This rope. Rope fence thing. Kind of a nautical theme. Okay. We're gonna get the best view, guys. I'm determined. Wow, look at that. Nice. There's our friends down there. Hey. That was easy, <laughs> yeah, with a little bit of motor help, it's no problem. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> that was beautiful. Cool. Oh, a swan. Hey, Virginia, it's a swan. Beautiful. Hey there. Hello. Hmm. I'm gonna go catch up with the group now. Sweet. This is one of my favorite arenas. 
you can hear live concerts at the Budweiser stage right there. Oh. Right across is the BMO field. That's where we have our professional soccer games. Okay. And those fans are like the most high spirit fans of any other sports league in our city. So it's awesome. really cool to see. Uh oh. And, oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. And actually, uh, this is one of my friend's sailboat. Oh, really? That's pretty cool. You know the guy who owns that? Yeah, Sweet. And uh, on Canada's Day, um, we were walking by with my mom, my dad, and one of my cousins ran into Gino. He's like, come on board, took us out, made us a beautiful meal. We saw a gorgeous sunset. Remember, oh, Mom? <laughs> yeah, it's so uncanny. <laughs> oh, that sounds awesome. Oh. Gino, if you're watching this and you need some extra hands on deck or anything, <laughs> you just let me know and we'll make it happen. <laughs> and actually, right across right here, see that Cinesphere? Yeah, I was that wondering was what that is. the first IMAX theater. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Have you been there? Uh, so... <laughs> I went the first time I was probably in grade two and I remember just being blown away. I think it was like a shark um, video, but yeah, the first like IMAX, huge, yeah. But they still they still um, do have, yeah, it's, it's great. Awesome, awesome. Well, Mike is still off racing. He, he's got plenty of energy. You guys, I really appreciate this. It's fun to see the city, especially with people who know their way around. I think that's kind of it. Do you have anything else to add before we close this out, Virginia? No, yes. Thank you so much. Is, Great do you taste. guys actually do tours or, I mean, you, you have like, you let people try your bikes at your shop, yeah. but. So we do 24 hour rentals, two hour rentals. You can go out, take the tours, but tours is something that we are going to look into. Wow, I mean, we rode here straight from the shop and I don't know if it's been an hour or something like that, but we've seen a lot mm -hmm. and we all made yeah. it, Yeah. right? We did a good job. So as good always, you guys, you. I have uh, reviewed a lot of these bikes and stuff, but the goal was just to kind of mix it up a little bit, do something sort of fun, celebrate this beautiful place with awesome people and to send some love your way. Have fun out there, ride safe. We'll see you next time. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>was saying they make like a figure eight ice skating rink somewhere around here during the winter which is kind of cool and that's the road that Virginia said they might take out which is amazing to me because I mean it's so big but I guess maybe it'll be nicer if they put it underground sort of like telephone wires and stuff that they've been burying in a lot of new developments green grass just so clean and beautiful here they're doing a great job across this nice that cargo bike <laughs> There's the bridge that we were on earlier. Now we're on the other bridge. Yes. <laughs> Before the yellow bridge, this was the only way to get across. Oh. But um, right over here, this is stacked. They took um, shipping containers and turned it into a really cool market. Oh, cool. It just opened and I actually haven't checked it out yet. Oh, okay. Let's just take a quick, quick peek. Let's do it. Huh. So it looks like they've made a big like marketplace that's getting ready to open with shipping containers over there. You said this is called Stacked? Yeah, Stacked. Yeah, they've turned it into a huge market with food, really cute boutiques. They're probably gonna do, yeah, some festivals, different things during the summer. It's gonna be a great place to check out. Very cool and sustainable. All that stuff gets shipped over and they have all those containers. Apparently that's a new Shopify office right there, headquarters. I didn't realize it was a Canadian company. <laughs> pretty, pretty nice little area right here. Lots of people walking around, cycling. 
struggling to shift gears while filming. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Gusto. We went to that place the other day. It was really awesome. It's a Caribbean place right there, Chubby's. I love that they're keeping some of the original architecture as they, you know, they are tearing stuff down and building condos and things around here, but still got a lot of flavor, like these houses. Very cool. I think these ones are really cute. They are being torn down though, unfortunately. And there's Amigo. Very cool, you guys. Thank you so much for taking me on that little adventure. Good job, Sue. We all made it back, safe and sound. <laughs> Sweet. 